Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson, and today is Tuesday, and we are going to be working on reviewing for our test. It's Converting Rational Numbers uh, Day, and here, here are our notes to go over this. These notes go along with what we were studying in Chapter 2. All right, so let's make sure you put your name. This is Period 1, and your, the date on your paper. Write each fraction as a decimal. How do you change a fraction to a decimal when the denominator is not a factor of a hundred or a ten or a thousand? We divide. That's right. I know you were thinking that, but it's early and I didn't hear anyone say that. Put the three in the box, the eight outside. All right. Now, the numerator goes in the box, the denominator stays outside, Add a decimal point because how many eights are in a three? No eights are in a three. Add a zero. How many eights are in a 30? Three. Eight times three is 24. Subtract. Add another zero. Bring it down. How many eights are in a 60? Seven. Subtract. Add another zero, bring it down. How many eights are in a 45? So the answer is 375 thousandths. Does everyone see how I did that? Okay, this one, is six a factor of 10, 100, or 1,000? No, so we have to divide this one too. The numerator, goes in the box, the 6 goes outside, the denominator outside. How many 6's are in a 5? None. Add a decimal point and a 0. Sometimes I call them dotty dots. How many 6's are in a 50? 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. Add another 0. Bring it down three times. Now, oh, what's going to happen here? It's going to repeat, isn't it? Does anyone know what you do whenever the number is going to repeat over and over again? Yes. Yeah. You put a line over it or bar notation. So the answer is eight and th 83 hundredths with the three repeating. Okay, any questions on that? Because once again, I could add a zero. It's just going to go on forever and ever and ever, isn't it? Okay, make sure you show all of your work. Now let's do the next section. It's a little bit easier to do. Oh, you, that line got here. Have another paper. There you go. Write each decimal as a fraction in simplest form. Well, when you read that problem, that's 75 hundredths because the 5 is in the hundredths place. Now we have to put it in simplest form. Some of you already know this one. What will divide a 75 and 100? Yes. Yeah, you think of quarters. 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. You should know that 75 hundredths simplifies to 3 fourths. And put your answer on the blank. Okay, the next problem, what am I going to put 625 on top of? A thousand, very good. Tenths, hundredths, thousands. Now, what will divide a 625 and a thousand? 25 will. Okay, how many 25s are in 625? Um, 24, let's see, um, 625 divided by 25, it will go into that 2 times 50, subtract, bring down, that will go into that um, 8, 16, 9, what's that? Oh, thank you. I knew there was something wrong. It's like, this is confusing. So, 
we have 125 and it will go into that um, four times 28 and six times or five times it'll go into it five times put down a five carry a two ten so we end up with 25 over 40 because I know that 25 goes into 104 times. Oh, that'll simplify again. 5 divides it. 5 goes into 25 5 times. And 5 goes into 48 times. So that simplifies to 5 eighths. 5 eighths. Oh, after a long weekend, just took a little while to get that answer out, didn't it? Write each percent as a decimal. To change a percent to a decimal, you move the decimal point, let's put the notes here, move decimal point to places which direction? Right or left? To the left. So this one, one, two, it's going to be 26 hundredths as a decimal. What will this one be as a decimal? We move it one, two. What do you put in your empty loopy? Right, it'll be nine hundredths. Okay, any questions on that? Do you have your notes written down? Good. Write each decimal as a percent. This time, you're going to move decimal point two places which direction to the right very easy one two forty five percent let's say you have a a, a a memory fade for a moment and you can't remember do i move it right or to the left just remember if you write it as a fraction a percent is a number over a hundred and that would give you 45% too. So if you can't remember what to do, just remember I've got to get it over 100 and put a percent sign. Here, 1, 2, 72.6%. Now if you did this 726 over 1,000, to get it over 100, you just divide it by 10. 1,000 divided by 10 gives you 100, and 726 divided by 10 is 72.6. That's just another little trick to help you think about how to change a decimal to a percent. Any questions on this page? These are all things that are going to be on your test. All right, let's go to the back page. Write each percent as a fraction in simplest form. Okay, so 23% is 23 over what? 100. And 23 is a prime number, isn't it? So it, it will not simplify. It's 23 over 100. That's simplified. Okay, 56 over 100. What will divide a 56 and a 100? Well, they're both even, so what divides all the even numbers? 2. So we can divide them by 2. We can start off by that. 56 divided by 2 is what? 28 and half of 100 is 50. Oh, they're both even. What will divide a 28 and a 50? 2. 2 will go into that 14 times. Half of 50 is 25. There's nothing that will divide 14 and 25, so that's your simplified answer. Any questions on how to simplify your fractions? Now, we're changing our fraction to a percent, but I like these. Why do I like these? Because the denominator is a factor of 10 or 100. So, I know that 20 can turn into 100. How does 20 turn into a 100? Yes. You multiply by 5. If you have five $20 bills, you have 100. So what's 9 times 5? 45. Now, 
45 over 100 equals 45 percent. I like these better because you don't have to divide. They don't take as long. Now, is 5 a factor of 100? Yes. 5 times what's 100? 20. If you have $25 bills, you have $100. So, 20 times 2 equals 40. 2 fifths is 40 over 100. That's the same thing as 40 percent. Any questions? All right. Up here, how do you change a fraction in simplest form? Put it over 100. Put percent over 100 and then simplify. Okay, so those are the notes for how do you change a percent to a fraction. Now, let's look at 13 and 14. Write each percent as a decimal and a fraction in simplest form. Okay, my decimal is going to be what for this? 60% is what is a decimal? You move it two places. One, two. What's that going to be? Six tenths, point six, or point six zero. That's my decimal. My fraction, six tenths equals three fifths because 10 can be divided by two and six divided by two. Now, if you would have put 60 over 100, you could still get 3 fifths. You could divide them both by 10, 6 over 10, and then divide them by 2 and you get 3 fifths. So my fraction simplified is 3 fifths, and my decimal 6 tenths. Any questions on that one? Okay, 8%. My fraction... 8 over 100. What will divide an 8 and a 100? It's bigger than a 2 this time. 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 100 divided by 4 is 25. 2 over 25. Now, what is my decimal? How do I write 8 hundredths as a decimal? Or, you just, if you have 8%, you move it two places, what do you put in your empty loopy? A zero. Eight hundredths. Eight hundredths is written as point zero eight. Or if you move your decimal point over two places, you get point zero eight. Any questions <coughs> on this? All right. Let's look at our last two for our notes. Write each decimal as a percent. Okay, that is easy. Here, we are going to move it two places to the right. Two to the right. One, two. Put a zero on your empty loopy. Seventy percent. One, two. Forty-eight percent. And just remember... 7 tenths would equal 70 over 100, and what's ever over 100 is your percent. Or if you don't remember to do it this way, 48 hundredths equals 48 percent. Any questions? Okay, then I have a worksheet for us to work on for your classworks. If you don't get it finished in class, it'll be homework, and I will give you back your quizzes from Thursday.